Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. DRDO's MP-80GM or Man Portable Anti-Tank Guided Missile is a third generation fire and forget anti-tank guided missile derived from NAG ATGM being developed for Indian Army in partnership with Indian defense contractor VEM Technologies Private Limited. It is an indigenously developed lightweight fire and forget anti-tank missile launched from a man portable launcher integrated with thermal sight which gives it both day and night firing capability. The missile is soft launched from a canister followed by a firing of the main motor in flight at a safe distance of around 9 to 10 meters from the launcher to provide safety to the operator. The missile has a length of 1.34 meters and diameter of 12 cm with aluminium and carbon fiber launcher tube and collapsible tripod to reduce the overall weight. It has a weight of 14.5 kg with its command launcher unit weighing 14.25 kg which combines a laser designator with a digital all-weather sight. The main motor of this miniaturized missile comprises of a dual thrust rocket motor with a boost phase and a sustainer phase to achieve top attack capability against a maximum range trajectory. The missile has a flight duration of 17 seconds. The manned portal missile is designed for maximum range of 2.5 km. It is fitted with a high explosive anti-tank heat warhead and has top attack capability. The missile can penetrate through 650 mm of rolled homogeneous armor. The mp gm features a state-of-art IIR seeker for homing on to target which gives it fire and forget capability. The IIR seeker featured in this ATGM is a miniaturized image infrared seeker housed in its front, configuring an optical module to achieve 2.5 km range in a missile of 12 cm diameter is a challenging task. DIDO's mp gm will be comparable to the best ATGM systems in the world such as Javelin and Spike MR. Interestingly, DIDO's mp gm also uses Jet Vane Thruster. A Jet Vane TVC or Thrust Vectoring System is used to control or change the attitude of aerial vehicles such as aircrafts, rockets and missiles. It changes or controls the attitude of an aerial vehicle by changing the direction of exhaust nozzle to desired direction at an appropriate angle. DIDO has used jet vent TVC in mp gm to arrest the large roll rates experienced by missile while coming out of the launch tube. A jet vent mechanism has been configured in the nozzle end of the blast tube to exercise the thrust vectoring control in the launch phase. Now, as per latest report, DIDO is in process of procuring 20 jet vane controls for mp gm This procurement seems to be for limited series production which could possibly be used for user trials. Till now, DIDO has conducted 5 trials of its mp gm with latest one performed on January 11, 2022. The test was conducted in its final and deliverable configuration and was successful. It was also tested for its maximum range and consistent performance at minimum range. The ATGM is ready to enter serial production. It will be manufactured by Bharat Dynamics Limited at a facility located in Telangana. Economic Explosives Limited has also received the transfer of technology for producing the warhead for the missile. Upon induction, this mp gm will replace the second generation Milan and conquers ATGMs with infantry, parachute and special forces. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.